And it's time for the first impressions of the Hoka Rincon, spelled R-I-N-C-O-N, named after a surf spot. And I guess it got it has that wave looking action at least in this uh, in this colorway. It's a neutral shoe, a road shoe. Although you know you could take it out on buffed out, tra- really buffed out trails or dirt roads. Uh, for the stack height, you're looking at a 30 millimeter stack height in the heel, 25 millimeter in the forefoot. So that's a five millimeter drop in the Hoka Rincon in my size. And as soon as I pulled this shoe out of the out of the box a couple days ago, I just thought, oh boy, this feels very very lightweight and sure enough uh, I, I guess I'll mention it now underfoot on the run today it just felt nice and lightweight like not it didn't feel heavy at all and so in my size you're looking at 7.6 ounces or 216 grams you see that there on your screen and as soon as I put it on I had flashbacks to five years ago when I put the Clifton one on okay so if you're a Clifton fan especially the original Clifton it just like I was like, okay, am I putting the Clifton on my foot or the Rincon on my foot? Because it just felt just like the uh, the Clifton one. And let's take a look at the upper here. So it's a single layer mesh upper. All right. So it's not knit. It's a mesh upper. And even after the first run, I am seeing some scrunching up happening through the toe box. And I think what what I'm sensing is that Hoka is beginning to lean a little more toward uppers that might not have the longest uh, shelf life, meaning durability. And I don't know about you, but I've had some major, major durability issues with the upper and other Hoka shoes in the past. Specifically, let me know in the comments if you agree, like, have you ever had holes pop up right here on the shoe? And then also basically right where your toes are connecting to your foot uh, all the time. So we'll keep an eye out. The fact that it's already scrunching up a little bit has me a little concerned after just 10 miles today. So we'll see. Uh, But what that means is that the upper is very breathable, lightweight. All right. So it's like that balance between uh, do you want an upper that allows your foot to breathe, especially in these hot summer months, or an upper that's going to last you for 500, 600 plus miles? I don't think that is going to be the case for the Rincon. And for the midsole in the Hoka Rincon, it's a meta rocker midsole. And how do you describe, what does that mean? Basically think of a rocking chair. That is what Hoka is famous for, that heel to toe, heel to toe. So if your gait cycle or your foot strike is is more of a heel to toe strike, then Hoka is probably a good choice for you, okay? Uh, And this midsole is definitely more forgiving than the Bondi, the Clifton 6, or the Challenger, okay? Like I can already see a little bit of compression happening through this midsole after just 10 miles. Uh, So keep that in mind once again. I'm just calling it now. I'll be shocked and it'll, it's, you know, it's just starting to hit the market. A lot of people are buying it right now. And yes, it is available down below. Uh, But it is, I am sensing that the durability, like I'm just calling it now, if you end up getting more than 400 miles out of the Rincon, kudos to you. You're doing something right because I just don't see this midsole lasting forever and ever. And most likely, how will I use this shoe moving forward? I'm going to say middle distance days. Probably not long long runs, but middle distance, that 10 to 15 miles, which is my middle distance day, I think because it is so lightweight, it's got a little bit of pop on a middle distance day. I want to keep my tempo just a little higher than a long run. So I'm, I'm putting this in the middle distance run category. And the price, raise the roof, $115 brand new. I am very excited about this price point. I think it's spot on. Uh, I actually think it could be 120 or 125, and I think a lot of people would still buy the Hoka Rincon. So good job, Hoka, at that price point. Brand new, $115. And so what are my first impressions of the Hoka Rincon after 10 miles? Because I've dealt with so many stress fractures, I'm coming off of a stress reaction right now. I am floating. I have no pain in my foot. I did 10 miles today, the longest run in three months, basically. And I need to stay healthy. I want to stay healthy. And maybe, listen, okay, I know that I need to do better at strengthening my feet, working on flexibility, uh, making sure I do cross training, eating well, sleeping well. Uh, And there's so many factors that go into us runners staying healthy. But 
I love high volume. I love running a lot. And it's a balance though. And so if I can purchase equipment that helps with that attempt to stay healthy while still training at a level that I want to train at. Uh, like for example, I just don't, I don't know what I'm more excited about right now, the Rincon or the Peg 36, okay? So anyway, I am, my first impressions are good, are very, very good. And okay, but my foot strike is a little more geared toward that midfoot to toe area, all right? That's where I love to live for my foot strike on the ground versus that meta rocker and yes rocker is going to be the key word for this video uh where hoka is really trying to promote getting into that more that heel strike to toe off uh feeling through the gait cycle so we shall see what i end up uh but anyway it just it felt very very good today and the question of the day what do you think of the meta rocker approach for a gait cycle and a foot strike and if it doesn't quite make sense um, once again, you can go do some research on Hoka's website about what they're going for. But again, it's that think of, think of a rocking chair um, and just kind of that heel to toe, heel to toe feeling through your foot strike. All right. So what do you think? That's the question of the day. What do you think of the meta rocker approach to a foot strike? and a gate cycle. All right, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Once again, the shoes are available down below from Running Warehouse. And if you have any questions, I will do my best to answer them in the comments below. And so with that said, stay tuned for my full review after 50 miles. I have a feeling it's gonna happen quicker than I expect in these guys. All right, seek beauty, work hard, love each other. See you tomorrow.